So, this one's for Kelsey. <laughs> Nord, good guy or just in with the wrong crowd? <laughs> in with the wrong crowd. <laughs> uh, he, uh, technically, he's on the side of evil, but he certainly doesn't have any evil aspirations and is basically just trying to please his own oh, yeah. <coughs> friend. Yeah, yeah it's, hard. it's a horrible situation. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, just big, wide-eyed, cuddly kid, really, who uh, unfortunately got flurious as a best friend. Kelsey, uh, haven't you always choose to play do the voice of the old uh, the dim-witted characters? <laughs> How do I voice all the dim-witted characters? Yeah, all the all the all your characters are like a little bit. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a little bit. They just keep casting these dim-witted. Have you thought about doing like a Boone? I guess because uh, Boone Boone was the first one that I ever got. I um. I actually got shortlisted for a Red Ranger a couple of years before me, but didn't quite make it. So, yeah, no, that, did you? Yeah, I thought I got it instead. But, um, uh, and then I got Boom, and uh, he, was, he was just a little bit, you know, kind of doing and stuff. And I guess I, I did a good enough job on that that, that they would keep asking to see me for the, uh, for the comedy relief roles, and they were always a little bit kind of simpler and, and funnier. So, uh, I guess that's just where the Power Rangers see me. Um, for all of you guys, was it hard getting your roles like for like auditioning and stuff? Uh, um, we just went to a job. I mean, for me, it was just you got called up for an audition um, by your agent, and you went along, and you got a call back, and so it was obviously successful for me to get the role. So it was good. We didn't. I was expecting to go into the audition and actually have to do martial arts. Because I'm, I'm, I'm quite uncoordinated. Um, that was an audition, and I actually didn't have to do it at all, which was top. So. I did. Yeah, you did, did. So did I. Yeah. That's not fair. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not like any audition I've gone to before. Yeah. It's definitely different. Actually, no, mine was a bit harder. Um, my uh, dialogue for the, for the audition had lots of long words in it. <laughs> 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 Know how to pronounce. Uh, I remember reading the, the part you, you for Rose, Rose, and I was just like, I went in and I auditioned. I did the part for Ronnie, and then Bruce was like, Come back and do the part for Rose, and I did it again. And like every third word, I just would trouble over it. Just, I was just like, I can't do this. Like, I definitely like Ronnie better. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kelsey, what was it like when they got us? Um, I think they got all of us to read for a couple of parts. And I, I don't know whether they. I don't know whether they. Um, two parts because they really are considering you for two parts or whether they just want to see some sense of versatility and um, see um, whether you can approach uh, a, a different character with a different spin than um, like what you normally do. Um, generally, generally with auditioning, uh, it, this is a tip for you if, if you want to go out there and, and act or you're acting in the moment. And I think generally with auditioning, one of the key things that, that any director or producer is looking for is versatility. Um, in, in, in that you can try things and approach things in a different way. So I just repeated myself about five times there. So, so <laughs> yeah. Well, likewise, I mean, I, I, I auditioned for Yellow and Pink as well. I originally auditioned for Yellow, and then in the second audition for that, I, they got me to read for Rose as well. And then I got shortlisted for Running. But then in the meantime, I did the New York Tracks and then that's what I ended up with. <laughs> yeah, I, I auditioned for Will as well. This would have been pretty difficult. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, I auditioned for many. Yeah, I did. Did it go so well? We ended up in a Um No, I, th this time I just auditioned for the Yeti, but I think the very first one I got burned, I was actually uh, was auditioning for Piggy, and it wasn't until the recall that they actually went. He said, you want to try this other guy, Boo? So I'm glad they did that. It's a good thing. Yes. 
So. Um, it, it flourish. Yeah, I was multo of the the multo. No, no, well, flourish is Cavehead slides. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, Gerald was was great to work with. He played flourish. Um, so the the multo stick was a lot harder to react to because this was going on with him. So uh, you know, Purely from an actor's point of view, it was a lot more fun than the, than the ice team. And we tend to get up to a lot more mischief than the ice team. There's more stuff <laughs> blowing up and falling over. And then, also because Gerald, who played Flurious, he like, can't imagine a bit easier to talk. And because he was normally in uh, Baltimore's outfit. Uh, Eugene. Was it Eugene? Yeah. It was a Japanese stunt double, was in was So, so but Flurious was a... Was a so yeah, when I was with Maltors League, generally um, they would be speaking in Japanese and then they'd say hi <laughs> at the end of the line and that's when we would know that it was good to speak. So, whereas Gerald spoke in English, which was easier for me to understand. <laughs> yeah, actually he's spoke, yeah, spoke in a weird... Uh, <laughs> for two of their days of their two weeks, so... Yeah. How many days? Two. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> six hours, really, altogether. Yeah. You're just a natural. Yeah, yeah she's a natural. She's a natural. We were right. <laughs> <laughs> You often get this footage in ADR, and, um, and there'll be uh, a fight. And and as an actor, you, uh, well, as an actor, what I try and do is I always try and um, find an, find a, a suitable arc for my character in, ter uh, in terms of finding the dramatic points in the script. I, I sound like I'm, I'm talking about a Shakespearean script here. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you, you want you want uh, uh, it is important to build to a climax. And, and what's difficult about ADR is you jump, you jump time really quickly. They'll go, okay, we're, we're doing because they just do it as a series of cues. You've got like, you know, anywhere between twenty to fifty cues in an episode, and um, so you might jump from some episodes where you've got 20, 20 cues. You might jump a ten minute time span, and other cues you'll be jumping a three second time span, and and you, and you need to be able to work out, okay, is my grunt going to be the the mark?